Okay, now that we've got our graphics, let's go ahead and finish off our theme and add it to our Setup Factory application. So we've got our images on our desktop here. Now I've created a new folder here called Jungle. So let's go ahead and put our images in there. Now you can call it anything you want, but I'm going to just call mine Jungle for this example. If you want to follow along, that might be the easiest thing to try. Okay, so we've got our folder here called Jungle. In there we've got our images that we've just created. And if we go back to our Source Files folder on our Speedy Training CD-ROM, you'll notice that in the Themes folder, there's an additional file here called theme.xml. Go ahead and copy and paste that into your Jungle folder. And then we're going to rename that. Now we'll just go ahead and type in the name here, Jungle. So we've got jungle.xml and we're going to go ahead and open that up in a text editor. So if you're using Notepad, you can use that or anything like that. In my particular case, I use a text editor called Edit Plus. Okay, so you can see here it's open on the screen. Now all we have to do is do a really quick replacement. You see here where it says Name, Theme Title? We just have to type in Jungle there, or whatever your name would be. In this particular case, that's the name that's going to appear inside the Setup Factory uh, theme selector. So go ahead and name it whatever you want to see in Setup Factory when you select this theme. So you can use spaces, etc. In this particular case down here where we're going to make these next replaces, don't use spaces in your uh, title. Use underscores if you need to separate words. So here where it says theme title, um, on these two images here, we're going to go ahead and type in jungle after an underscore there. And then we're going to go ahead and rename our images to match this. So these particular directions here inside this file apply to our images and they need to correlate with our images. Okay, so we've got our 111 by 63 image and our 166 by 312 image, our top and side images. In this particular case, as I said, the background images were optional and you can go ahead and experiment with that. We'll take a look at that in the extending themes lesson coming up in a few lessons, but for now we'll go ahead and just focus on these two because this is typically uh, what most professional installers use. So let's go ahead and save this file. So I'm going to press Control S and then we're going to exit our text editor. Now our XML is done. Now what we need to do is rename our images to match up with our XML. So in this particular case we're just going to go ahead and add an underscore and the word jungle to the end of our images here. And this will keep it separate. Strictly speaking this isn't necessary. You could have just used the existing image names, but this is a, a good way to make sure you don't get them mixed up with other themes and so forth. Okay, so we've got our images renamed. We've got our XML finished. Let's go ahead and add this to our Setup Factory application. I'm going to close down our Source fo Files folder. I'm going to open up my Program Files folder, and I'm going to surf in here in the Setup Factory 7.0 folder to the Themes folder. You can see it here. We'll go inside there and as you can see there's a bunch of themes installed with Setup Factory. If you've downloaded additional themes you may see something different than what I've got here, but this is the default themes. Now let's go ahead and just drag our Jungle folder into this folder. And that's going to add the Jungle theme to our Setup Factory application. So we can go ahead now and close down that window and run Setup Factory. So we'll go to our Programs menu, Setup Factory, and go ahead and run it. Now let's go ahead, I'm going to close down our tips of the day here, create a new project. We'll just create a blank project that we can look at here. And I'm going to go ahead and go into the screens area here and click on project theme. Now from the pull down menu, you'll see that jungle is available here. I'll go ahead and click on that and you can see our theme in action here. Now if I maximize the screen, you can see a, a live preview of our screen here in real time. We can click on the side arrangement the top arrangement or the none. And again, this is where you may want to apply a background image, for example, um, to get a different feel or not. But typically, this is what installers will use, is the top and side image. So as you can see, we've got a great looking theme. It's ready to go. We can press OK or we can go ahead and press the edit button and come in here and edit our theme. And in the theme editor, as you can see, you can control just about everything, all the margins, fonts, so on and so forth. It's it's really elaborate and actually Setup Factory is the only application installer uh, builder on the market that has this um, particular feature where you're able to really customize your themes like this. So this is fantastic particularly if you're branding your themes uh, for your clients and so forth. So let's go ahead and back out of here and that's our 
setup factory theme, how to add it to our setup factory application. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next video lesson.